guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome this is my ace this series where i basically teach you how to ace things in different areas now today i'm going to be looking on the fiverr platform and fiverr has the ability to allow you to create services where you can offer to persons all over the world and these services are called gigs now some buyers some sellers don't know the difference between a custom order and a custom offer. They are two different things and sometimes they use the words interchangeably, but they're not. Now, here I am in my Fiverr inbox. Now, when you send a custom offer to a buyer, what you're doing is basically customizing the service needs based on what they had inquired about so if they wanted to do something particular that may not be how your gig is set up you can send a custom offer now you can also send a custom offer even the way your gig is set up for instance suppose you say that for five dollars you will do this particular service you can send them a custom offer for that as well even if your gig is set up that way and you can also send a custom offer especially for what they want done. So here I am in my inbox. So if I was to send a custom offer, let's look and see what that looks like. So here it says, create an offer. And what it does, it shows you a list of the gigs that you have set up. So based on what you and your client discussed, you can send that particular gig with the offer. So here I have a file conversion gig where I convert files from one format to another. So let's use this as an example. So I'd click the gig. And then it gives you the option to either do single payment where it says receive one payment for the entire project once completed or you have milestone. So most times it's single payment. Here you will describe your offer. So in detail, you will write exactly what you will do for the client based on what you discussed in the inbox. You see that you have 1500 characters that you can play with. Remember that a space is part of a character as well. You can also tell them how many revisions you will allow. As you see, that's optional. I rarely use this option. And then for delivery, you let them know how long it will take you to do the task and for how much. Now, you leave this option here checked. The requirements, you want them to put in the files or send you the files based on what you need to get done. So you leave this option checked. You can uncheck it if you have already received the files. So what will happen is that the order will just start once they accept the offer. And once you're finished, you would just click send offer. So this is what you as the seller sends to a buyer if they want something customized based on their needs or you're just making it easier for them to order your services without leaving from the inbox, going back to your profile page and then ordering. You're making it easier for them as well. Now, where a custom order is concerned, that is different. A custom order is what a buyer sends to you, the seller. So here in your gig section, you have a button that allows you to turn on accepting custom orders. So if this button is off, then a buyer can't send you a custom order. So what a buyer does when they send you a custom order, they're telling you what they want done, how long they want it to be done, the time that they want it to be done within and how much they are willing to pay. Now, when you get a custom order, you have the opportunity to either tell the buyer that, you know, I'm not able to do it within that time or for that price or whatever, or you can just create an offer based on that custom order because there is an actual button that is on the custom order that you receive that you can use to create an offer that will allow the buyer to purchase. So remember, custom order, that's what the buyer sends to a seller. And custom offer is what the seller sends to a buyer. So know the difference between the two and don't get them mixed up because, you know, that may cause problems along the way. So remember, once you have aced this, come back to the video and say, I aced it. And also share this video with anyone you think will find it helpful. Remember to like the video, liking and sharing and commenting helps me on my channel. So please do so and share your thoughts. Also subscribe if you have not done so already and encourage others you know to subscribe as well because that helps me too. So thank you for joining me in this session and I will see you 
in the next one. Bye.